Celebrate our nation and our troops. Oh wait, that has been happening since, well, the 1700s. Perhaps this is Trump's attempter and around it getting his military parade, his previous idea which was dismissed as a waste of money. Trump tweeted, hold the date. We will be having one of the biggest gatherings in the history of Washington, D. C on July 4. It will be called a salute to America and will be held at the Lincoln Memorial. Major fireworks display, entertainment and an address by your favorite president, me no ego there at all. Most of us are old enough to remember big events out of D.C. and the rest of the nation on the 4th of July. In fact, one of the founding fathers, who was in Philadelphia on July 2, 1776, when the Independence Resolution was passed by the Continental Congress, predicted how this budding nation would celebrate. John Adams wrote his wife, Abigail, a prediction, the second day of July 1776 will be the most memorable apache in the history of America. I am apt to believe that it will be celebrated by succeeding generations as the Great Anniversary Festival. It ought to be commemorated as the Day of Deliverance by solemn acts of devotion to God Almighty. It ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade, with shoes, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, and illuminations from one end of this continent to the other from this time forward forevermore. Adams was wrong on the date, but otherwise, his letter sure sounds like Trump's tweet, pomp and parade and illuminations from one end of this continent to the other. So much for this being a new idea.